There was a couple named James Davis and LaDonna Davis, and in 2017, they decided to adopt a baby chimpanzee and named it Mo. They looked after Mo as their own baby, they taught him how to eat with a fork, use a toilet, even how to crudely write his own name. They raised Mo in their own house for 30 years. The average lifespan of chimpanzees is 40 to 50 years in the wild, and for those in captivity, well fed and taken care of, is 50 to 60 years. So Mo was slowly nearing into elderly ages and he lightly attacked some guests, biting them in Davis's house a couple of times. Then Davis's decided to land Mo in a local wildlife sanctuary with the condition visiting him a couple of times a week. Davis's loved and raised Mo for 30 years and mind you, when they were visiting the sanctuary, they were bringing toys, TVs, special meals and all the love parents can give to a child. On March 3, 2005, Davis's drove to a sanctuary to celebrate Mo's 39th birthday. They filled a car with toys, presents, balloons, and a white frosted birthday cake with raspberry filling. Mo was ecstatic, clapping his hands and going mad. All three were kissing each other and happy. It was as perfect as it gets. But out of corner of her eye, Mrs. Davis suddenly notices a large black form about 10 meters away. It was another chimp that lived in the sanctuary, a young adult male, somehow out of his cage, staring at her with a noticeable rage, and then he charged. James rushed to protect his wife, but the chimp locked his jaws around the thumb of her left hand. With just a single ferocious jerk of his neck, chimp tore her thumb off. Then he proceeded to attack James. James also confronted the chimp, but at his back, he found another chimp, also a male, this one older and bigger, bearing down on him. One of the chimps grabbed him in a bear hug before chomping in the bone above his right eyebrow. Then he stuck his fingers in James's right eye, gouging it out. The same chimp clamped his teeth onto James's nose, biting it off as the other chimp chewed away James's fingers, causing it to flop over and cover his left eye, blinding him. One of the chimps sunk his teeth into James's skull. He then closed his jaws on James's mouth, ripping off his lips and most of his teeth. James tried to put one of his hands down the primate's throat, hoping to choke it, but the chimp just kept chewing on it and he couldn't get it out. James then fell to the ground, no longer able to defend himself, and for at least 5 minutes, the mauling continued as he lay semi-conscious. The worst part of the story is one of the chimps gnawed James's Botox and bit off his genitals. Owners of the sanctuary heard the screams, grabbed his 45 caliber revolver and opened fire on the younger chimp. Gunshots had no effect and the owner returned to reload and grab a more powerful gun. And he shot the bigger chimp in the head from close range, who was the prime aggressor. At that moment, younger chimp was dragging James's body and ravaging it with his teeth. Owner shot the chimp in the chest and it fell down on James's limp body. James survived, but his whole body from toe to face was completely disfigured. This is probably the worst chimp on human attack incident. An investigation of primatologists concluded that one of the main factors why chimps got so aggressive on Davis is that it was jealousy and envy over a birthday cake. They were showering Mo with presents, toys, and food every time they visited, and other chimps right across the cage were looking at them with jealousy. And they snapped when the owner of the sanctuary forgot to properly close the cage. You might be wondering, chimps are smaller than us, probably lighter, and why James couldn't just overwhelm them. But the chimp size is deceptive. By age 5, chimps are stronger than most human adults. And when they are 15 to 20 years of age, they are stronger 5 to 10 times than a human adult male. It's like 10 year old is street fighting against a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think getting locked up with an aggressive chimpanzee is more scarier than getting locked up with a tiger. Because tiger kills you. It just grabs you by the neck and just kills you. But chimps, they are going to torture you and then mercilessly kill you. 
Chimpanzees are not only ruthless against humans, but with each other as well. With our unparalleled ability to plan, organize and wield weaponry, it seems like humans are uniquely gifted in the art of war. However, chimps can sometimes be as strategic, coordinated and ruthless against each other just as we are. Power, ambition, jealousy, the same things that fuel deadly clashes in humans can also tear apart chimpanzees and these traits were the cause of the most violent chimpanzee civil war of all time. In the early 1970s, primatologist named Jane Godal was studying the chimpanzees in Gombe National Park in Tanzania. And she observed that once unified chimp community disintegrated into two rival factions. What followed was a period of revolution, killings, murder, and the only civil war observed in the wild chimpanzees. That lasted for four years, four months, and two weeks, which is roughly the same duration period with the World War I. So there is a central valley consisting of three communities, Kasakela in the north, Kakombe and Mikenge in the south. Chimp's civil war happened in the Kasakela community when newly formed Kahama was separated and led by brother duo Hugh and Charlie, with the other males being Godi, Day, Goliath and the younger Snev. On the other side, the Kasakela males consisted of the alpha male Figan, Sherry, Everett, Rudolph, Jomeo, Humphrey and Satan. On January 7, 1974, a troop of six adult Kasakela chimp males ambushed the isolated Kahama male Godi when he was feeding on a tree. This was the first time that any of the chimpanzees had been seen to deliberately kill a fellow male chimp. After they had slain Godi, the chimps celebrated boisterously, dancing, throwing and dragging branches with hoots and screams. One by one they ambushed the Hugh and the elderly Goliath, even though Goliath was relatively friendly with the Kasakela. Only three Kahama males remained, Charlie, Sniff and Wooly Wally. Kasakela took out Charlie and later Sniff. Wooly Wally disappeared and was never found. Of the female chimps from Kahama, one was killed, two went missing and three was beaten and kidnapped by the Kasakela male chimps, just like the Mongols did with the areas they have conquered in the past. With the Kahama gone, Kasakela territory now butted up directly against the another chimp community called Kalande. They had violent skirmishes along the border, but Kalande was superior on strength and numbers, and the Kasakelas gave up much of their territory, and eventually hostilities died down and the regular order of things was restored. Chimps, just like humans, fight for resources and land fueled by jealousy and dominance. The latest one in 2008 in Uganda, where 150 strong chimp gang called Nagogo has added 6.4 square kilometers over summer. They are gaining these territories, ambushing isolated chimps of neighboring communities, killing one by one in a coordinated fashion. Chimps and monkeys have entered the Stone Age and the planet of the apes is not far behind. That's pretty much it. What do you think about chimp gang wars and what do you prefer? Being locked up with a couple of aggressive chimps or a tiger? Let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching. Some interesting videos that I have been working for a while are coming up soon. Hit the like button and notification button not to miss upcoming episodes.